have lost count of people I have kidnapped, killed, notorious bandits, Kotaku. The Casino Police Command has recorded another breakthrough with the arrest of a bandit, Kingpin, who confessed to have lost count of people he has killed or kidnapped. 50 years old, Surajo Maman, popularly known as Kotaku, said he is the second in command to Sani Mohiding, a wanted notorious bandit on government watch list, hibernating in Rugu Forest between Castina and Zamfara State. The police public relations officer in the state, SP Issa Gambo, paraded the notorious bandits alongside others before newsmen on Wednesday as the state police headquarters. I have been involved in many kidnapping and other banditry related crimes for a very long time now. I cannot remember the exact number of people I have killed or kidnapped, but there are many. Actually, I didn't really see anything wrong with my involvement in the act until I was arrested. But my eyes are opened now. A further confess I participated in so many attacks, kidnapping and cattle rustling in villages at Dan Musa, Safana, Dosima and Patsagari LGA of the state. I think this is a big win for Nigeria, but I'm not sure if this is true. Because of these days, they will be paying some people in the community and be faking lies that is a that them they can see that the government is doing something. The military are afraid to catch all these people. They are they have not have strong feelings to do all these things. So no, it's, I, I might not believe this. It might be true, it might not be true. But for me, I do not believe this because of the government of Nigeria and the people that are called security operatives. Who, who signed an agreement with the government that they will take care of the state and everybody? They are not doing anything, they are not speaking. All they want is money or food they will be eating. They are not ready to solve any issues in the community. They are not, re- they are not, they are not ready to solve any type of issue. So let's see what people have said about this on social media. Someone said, since he has repented and confessed, forgive him and rehabilitate him by sponsoring him to oversee on federal government scholarship to study trade of his choice, Shikina. And some replied, that might be the direction of choice for the government. And some said, exactly, that's their way. But if it was a southerner who is fighting for freedom, for me justice, they will arrest and limb up. God is paying back them in their own coin. That is true. When it's southerners that are fighting for their rights, they will leave the Satana alone and continue doing their own thing and they will, and, and they will leave the rights alone. They will leave the um, not people alone. Like this country, they are not doing too many partiality. Plenty partiality. Like I don't understand. Too many partiality has already gone around this country. Someone said this kidnapping of a thing. Nigeria should unite and send President Bari packing. I don't know if you see of kidnapping here and there. And nothing moved him. As a father with human blood flowing in his veins, he should resign. For tweets, we cannot continue like this any longer. And some said, we will move Ibu in Alukano and support out of Nigeria. Sai Buhari. And some said, in any country that you call them people and ask them, how is our president perform? And you don't see the people saying he's doing well. Just believe the country has only figured head of nothing. Bandits, kidnappers, killers, presidents cannot declare them as a terrorist. Is a big shame of this country. Hmm. And so said, you will never know peace and nothing of this will be yours till the rest of your life. We can so in animal kingdom. And so said, now that his eyes are opened, federal government should build house. Buy a car and give him 200 million as usual to compensate him for repenting. And someone also said, Kill them all. And someone replied, For where? Kill who? Ah, kill a repentant killer. No, that's against the rule of best practice. You should be talking about rehabilitating him and paying him every month.
overfly him and overseas to study. See as our life for Nigeria day. Hmm. So many people are just saying that they should fly him overseas. They don't see having the government now that they um, they be, since you want to rehabilitate him, just fly him overseas and let him study now. They be, that's the only thing they know how to do. And some said, mm, wow, I really don't know what to say here. Oh, it's quite disheartening that some faceless individuals are making it very difficult for others. Please let law take its course. Someone also said, he is, he is still they fine with no handcuffs. He is those that is agitating now these people. These people call themselves police will uncle and cover both leg and under once again idiots and someone also said you will go and call that your wicked eyes in prison and so in private prison they are sending him to Afghanistan to go and upgrade his knowledge in terrorism <laughs> and someone said do you someone said if those guys are not sentenced to death the whole of your families and all in government shall never see peace from the generation to the nation. So most people are cursing, abusing. It is not his fault, so please don't curse him. It is not his fault. It is the government's fault. When the government do not want to put them in jail, they don't want to put them in any other of things. He is catching them and putting them in court or giving them death sentence. Those people will repent. Now means there are some people in the government that are in support of all these killings, and those people are from the north. They are in support of all these things that is going on. Because if they are not in support of it, they will have killed this man since. Like immediately they should have killed. But they are still in support of all these issues that is going on in the country. Can you see where Nigeria is going to? Can you see where Nigeria is going to? And someone said, God punish your generation and this wicked government is still keeping alive to eat and feel comfortable to talk. Why they kill other criminals in the southern region immediately they are cited. And someone said, I think Eddie should take him to court after confessing what he has committed. Not even that, they should threaten him and they should ask him where the leaders are and where other people are. That would be the best thing for them to do. They should just threaten him and tell him that this is where these people are, let us go there and find them. Not that they will rehabilitate him or they will just leave him alone or they will take him to court. Like, no, he must say. And most of all these people that they join this group, they say they don't really want to convert that they've already taken an oath. That if they catch you, they catch you. And don't mention any any type of plan unless you will die. That is why most of them are not saying the truth. I don't know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to get more daily news and content that is going on in Nigeria. See you next time. Bye.